Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. In this painting, I want to show you how I paint these beautiful, beautiful daisies in watercolor with Wedune technique. It took almost one hour until the end of painting, except to sketch, because there were a lot of little patterns that needed details. And let you know about this sketch. Many people want to get my sketch, so I will upload this sketch on my Instagram and Facebook as usual. If you do like, give this a try. Okay, before we start it, if you do possibly subscribe and give me a thumbs up, that would really help me out. Thank you. This color, cardamom yellow deep, uh, bon sienna, magenta, ultramarine deep, emerald green nova, vermilion green deep. It will, we're gonna use it. And one more thing, some people wondered this color. So I show you this vermilion green deep, which I bought it in London at Supply. When I have went in London for exhibition 2018. However, they said to me they cannot find any in the Shimin K watercolor chart now. Anyway, it's not an important issue for us. Okay? We can use other beautiful colors instead of this. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, all right. We are going to start painting this with the Wedone technique. So apply enough water on the paper, almost all, except you want to make flowers that are popped out. So, and, um, so be careful, save the flower shape when you are applying the around the flowers. That's gonna be um, highlight part of the main flower. So, and then blend nicely and gently. And take a light magenta and add the around the main flower and let it count, kind of flow together and mix together colors. And grab the light ultramarine deep and then add it on some flowers that are under other flowers. It will make some uh, depths. Next, I'm going to start at the top of the painting, which is far away. I want to use Emerald Green Nova first as a first layer. Try on the under uh, flower and around the flower here and there. Next, take a dark emerald green, paint on the uh, top area and some uh, corner. It will be as a, a second layer. And take the mixture of that colors, add it on the top part of the painting. They are mixing together and making some unexpected colors and patterns because that paper is still very much damp. Next, I'm changing the uh, smaller brush for draw the shape of the petals. I'd like to draw white daisy flowers, so I painted dark background. That will be a great idea. 
I mean that the flowers、uh, will be popped out. And take cadmium yellow dip, and then add on the center of the flower, and touching a bit of burnt sienna, and add where the petal meets the center of the flowers. As I mentioned it earlier, I will draw white daisies today. So that's why I'm drawing between petals one by one. Along the shape of the petals, with the、uh, some light blue. I mean to make the shape look good. Taking the ultramarine dip and、uh, draw between、uh, petals, and the、uh, make sure the shape of the、uh, flower. I think it take long time because there is small tiny flower petals there. Make some shadow with the、uh, ultramarine deep color, very light ultramarine deep, because I wanna draw white daisies. For this flower, I'm taking the green, which I mixed emerald green nova and vermilion green deep that I used background. Color. The reason why I'm taking the green is because, as you can see, around the this flower color is green. Other reason is、uh, I want my painting to have the organic and natural feels. Open your eyes and open your imagination. There are no right colors and shapes. You can be flexible on composition and colors of the subject that you want. I'm doing some detail with a kind of a sort of greenish color. What I'm doing now,、uh, taking purple that I mixed magenta and ultramarine deep before, why?、Right? And and add that、uh, on the needs flowers. It will help to look、um, flowers are popped out. I mean, I'm refining、uh, flowers shape. With purple and a sort of blue.
I'm taking a very watery purple color and、uh, refine the shape of the petals one by one. It takes a long time, so just to you enjoy it this time. While you're painting, you enjoy it、uh, on your life. Think about the,、um, some、uh, new thing. And sometimes, while I'm painting, think about the, my、uh, sons and yeah, my friends. Yeah, just enjoy at this time while I'm painting. I'm trying to underneath the flower,、uh, make sure the uh, little, uh, little bit、uh, dark. Ultramarine deep and some、uh, purplish blue color. Make sure the shape and, and this flower popped out. This paper size is、uh, 7 by 10, 10 by 7 inches. I usually use the Archie Cold Pressed、uh, 140 pound paper. Taking yellow. Uh, some bluish, no, uh, no, no, no.、Uh, brownish yellow color put on the center of the flower. This is p o n s i e n a and put on the edge of the. Uh, center flower part. I'm using the almost the same technique on this painting. The very first time I used the wet on a technique and then、uh, draw some small tiny parts, use the wet on dry technique. I hopefully you understand about the wet on a technique and wet on dry technique. Actually, I uploaded many, many、um, uh, videos about. The wet on wet technique and wet on dry technique, I、uh, compared how to use、uh, what I, what's different with the wet on wet and wet on dry technique. If you're interested in、uh, it, check it out. You can check it out. And I'm mixing ultramarine dip and、uh, vermilion green dip for drawing stems. Draw stems swiftly, quick, and quickly、uh, here and there. And I'm also taking brownish blue and then draw some、uh, stems. I don't want to paint stems of the same color and doing、uh, various angles and lengths that allow me to make、uh, uh, some. These really organic and natural stems, right? And next, let's draw some leaves on the foreground with greenish blue and a kind of olive green, right? Greenish blue and olive green. And also, I moved my brush. Swiftly or quickly, 
I mean very quickly, quickly. It may not make a pretty shape if you draw a, a leaf slowly. So, and then I'm taking the flowers color which I used yellow and magenta and then add on the foreground area that will be really natural look. I branded very light uh, bluish color for on the foreground area. Next, taking a ultramarine deep, some kind of uh, purple. Draw some uh, small, tiny uh, flower, the center area, center shape. And then uh, grab a light yellow and uh, a mixture of yellow and burnt sienna color put on the center of the flower. These flowers are a bit far away, so we should paint light berry of yellow and uh, burnt sienna color. And then also there are uh, incorrect shape. We cannot see clearly. Okay. And then uh, I I don't want to overthink it, over uh, work. So just to draw some very simple, and it's not quiet clearly. And I just want to them look natural and perfectly imperfect. As you can see, I drew some shadow on the underneath flower using purple. Next up is drawing something for various story in uh, my painting that I need to add some uh, strong color on the knit flower. That's why I grabbed a dark burnt sienna and add on the uh, flowers. That will be great looking. I don't know, this one is the, um, some, uh, ground part or uh, some wooden uh, something there but then I want to uh, just uh, use the various color so I use almost a greenish color and just a little bit of the ultramarine bluish color and some uh, pinkish color so I need to uh, brown color for this uh, painting. So I used the uh, burn sienna color the right corner and then underground area and write some part.
I'm still working on the uh, foreground area with the uh, very strong uh, brownish color and uh, bluish green color. And uh, what I'm doing now, I'm drawing a kind of a shadow on the background and on the flowers. I just want to make a lot of stories in the painting. For this one is a good idea to give it a try on your painting. Open your imagination. Actually, I don't have any reference for with this uh, painting. Just as uh, I have Daisy's flower, and then I made some composition for a flower. I put the here and there. So I want you to try like me. Okay. Still, I'm working on this draw some shadow. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed painting this and hope to see you back next time for another tutorial. Bye!